Hello everyone, welcome back. And this is the fifth tutorial of DFT Practical Classes. And in this tutorial series, we are learning about how to use quantum espresso efficiently. Okay, so the topic of this tutorial is the relaxation calculation. So without any further introduction, let me just go to the prerequisites at first. Definitely, you should know how to run a SGF calculation and you should have converged K points and a converged cutoff for energy. Okay. These things I have already described in the previous tutorials, so I will not repeat them here. Now let me just go to the relaxation directly. You know very well that I am using that test folder in the desktop here. Okay, so let me just go there. Well, and these were the inputs from the previous run. So let me just open this. Okay. So this is the input for self-consistent field run. And for your convenience, I am putting this in the description box. You can download this input file from the description box itself. Okay. Well, and if you want to learn how to create that self-consistent field calculation file for your material, please go to the second tutorial of this lecture series. Well, so we can do two things here. We can either do relax or we can also do VC relax. Remember, when you are doing VC relax, there is a hyphen between VC and relax. Now, when to do what? Simply speaking, if you have a structure from experiment, that is from XRD data or from Raman, if you have an experimented structure, you do relax, you don't do VC relax then, okay? But if you have a whole new structure and you don't have the experimented structure, let's say, then you must do VC relax. Okay, VC stands for variable cell. The cell will vary. Okay, but you definitely don't want the cell to change if you already have an experimented structure. That's why for experiment it's relax and for a proper theoretical calculation it is just VC relax. Okay, so that's the only change here you have to do in the ACF file. And another thing, definitely I have the converged ECAT WFC will be 100 that I had previously and hence ECAT row could be 1000 or it could be 1200 also. Why 12 times? Because BATIO3 is an insulator. I am doing it for BATIO3, right? And I have already explained this in details in the first tutorial, right? So once again, I am skipping that here, but you have to include two other sections here at first and ions. Okay, let me do that. And you know already, all section starts with and and ends with this slash, right? Okay, you have to write everything in this section in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to write something here. So let me just write. Let me tell you this. You don't have to worry about spaces and tabs here. Okay, the quantum espresso code will not account for these spaces. I can do only this much space, whatever you want. Okay, well, so let me just write ion dynamics equal to BFGS. Now BFGS is an algorithm to relax the structure. If you're really interested in the conceptual understanding of this BFGS, please go to the conceptual videos of TFT, okay, that I have already made in this channel, okay. Now, the most important for VC Relux, just to do and sell. And this will definitely end with a slash, okay. I have to write everything in between, right? Okay, so let me just do that here. Similarly, just as I have written ion dynamics equal to VFGS here, I will just write cell dynamics equal to also VFGS. So I have just pasted that and I will make this cell. So cell dynamics is VFGS. And one other thing that you have to do here is cell do free. Okay, so let me just do that. Equal to now, here you can write many things, okay? What are the options here? So at first you can definitely write all. What is meant by all? So all means that while you are doing this VC relax calculation, that variable so relaxation, everything, volume, shape, everything may vary. It will just go to the minimum energy structure, okay? By varying anything possible. So that is all. If you don't write anything, that will be by default all, okay? Now, if you do eyebrow, what does it mean? It means that while doing the relaxation, everything will change, but your bravais lattice will remain constant. Your bravais lattice won't change, okay? 
so for example if you have a face centered cubic it will remain a face centered cubic okay now another thing that you can write here is a what is meant by a remember a does not mean that the lattice parameter a will be conserved okay it means that the x component of the lattice parameter a will be conserved okay if you write b this means the y component of the axis b will be conserved and if you write c that means definitely you can guess that the z component of the axis c will be conserved okay while doing the relaxation calculations and the thing you can write fix a that means the lattice parameter a will be fixed that won't change during the relaxation calculation similarly you can do fix b to fix the lattice parameter b and you can do fix c to fix the lattice parameter c okay while doing the facial relax calculation and there are many other options for example x y that means only x and y will be changed z will remain fixed okay similarly you can do x z show that the x and z will change while y of the cell will remain constant similarly you can also do y z this means y and z component of all the lattice parameters will change but x will remain fixed okay well you can also do shape okay what is meant by shape shape means all axis and angles will be changed but the volume of the cell will remain fixed okay you can also do volume okay which means the volume changes but all the angles will remain fixed okay and there are many other things also for example you can do 2d shape which means that the x and y components are allowed to change but the area in the xy plane will remain fixed okay so these are the options and for this calculation as i have already told you earlier i will do eyebrow okay so this is what i will do and everything else will remain same here one important note you must do crystal here as i have already told you in the cell consistent field calculation making this crystal here will help you when you are going to reconstruct the crystal after relaxation calculation okay so that's it now i will just save it like let me just do save as so btio3 let me do fish relax anything you can put here not a problem just do dot in okay so i will just do all files here and save so that is my input only let me just close it here okay so my input file is here so let me just copy the input file and the pseudo potential files to a different directory i am creating a new directory here why i am copying this in a new directory because while doing the convergence calculations there were many input files okay so just so that you don't become confused with so much input files that's why i am just creating a new directory let me just write relaxation okay let me just paste those here okay now as i have already told you i have to create a batch file right to run that so just do new and take a new text document and open it just write pw space less than i have to just copy this input file name copy just write test dot in space greater than one second let me paste the file name dot out so that is the batch file how to save it that i have already told you but you can check it here once again so let me just write bt underscore vc dot bat okay and just do all files here just save it okay so it is now here now i don't require this new text document let me just delete this now copy all this these are the five files that you are going to require for the relaxation calculation so let me just copy this and you know my qe directory is here in the local disk c under qe win and under qe let me just paste those here 
so these are the pseudo potential files that i have already copied previously so let me just replace them here okay now just open the windows power cell okay so windows power shell is here so how to use this windows power cell for quantum espresso that i have already described i'm not going to repeat this here just do cd double dot slash double dot slash for me now i am in c drive and my quantum espresso folder is under qe win right so qe tab that is qe win and i'm going to write just qe okay so just enter now i am within the directory where my input file is kept right so just do ls once okay all the files these are here now here btvc.bat these are actually the inputs and outputs from the convergence calculations and here is the input file for vc relox calculation right okay so let me just do clear this once now i'll just copy that batch file name okay so this is it just copy it and i will just paste it here just do a tab show that is dot slash btvc.bat just do an enter so now it is running so let me just put it here oh i will have to allow access definitely okay so now it is running okay let me just fast forward this video here okay so the run is now complete and you can see here is the output file that is out file it is so just copy it and i will put it in the folder where i am doing everything about relaxation so just paste it here okay so let me just open it let me go down and actually we have to find final okay so i just did ctrl f for searching find next okay so that is the final enthalpy okay so what uh, this relaxation calculation has done it actually has optimized your crystal to its minimum enthalpy structure okay and that is the minimum enthalpy so that's the final enthalpy for your crystal however the concern that we have now is this that final coordinates okay so this is the atomic position and these are the cell parameters so you see the cell parameter a has only one value along x direction and none along y and z for b it's only along y and the lattice parameter c is only along z okay there is no x or y component of the lattice parameter c right and they all are equal so the structure is still cubic okay but what is this a actually there are two ways to calculate that one is c you have the volume here so you can just do this is a cube what will be a right so that is one option but that will not work every time for example if you have a tetragonal lattice or say orthorhombic lattice or say any other lattice where a cube is not the volume then you will be in trouble so i will show you a way you see the lattice parameters are in alert unit right so the thing that you actually have to do now is you have to multiply this alert with 0 0.52917 double seven okay so this alert is the bohr unit and that way you can convert it into angstrom okay and now once you have the angstrom unit for your cell parameters then you multiply that by this one okay so that's how you get a if you have a different uh, b then uh, multiply that with that cell parameter that you have achieved for your calculation okay so that's how you are going to get it and that multiplication will come out to be 4.027311 okay well so how to visualize that let me now minimize that there are two options to visualize that one is directly using vesta okay so i have downloaded at the second lecture of this video i have downloaded the structure from which we have optimized this current one right definitely so let me just open it using vesta okay definitely vesta okay now just go to edit do edit data and go to that unit cell and now you see your a is that 
you replace this a what you have got just now okay so you have got what 4.0 27311 and just apply it why just apply it because the structure parameter is still the same okay if you take a look at the output file these atomic positions they are still at 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 like this right and it is there okay so you don't have to change this now one thing is that there are say five atoms in the unit cell definitely this is BATIO3 but here you see only three why because the symmetry is already given in the unit cell it is cubic pm3m right since the symmetry is given only one atom of oxygen will replicate other two okay so that is the Wyckoff position so the oxygen here is according to its Wyckoff position okay well now let me just close it here that's one way now when you will have a very complex structure then generating the whole structure using Vesta that will be troublesome then you have to use X Christian now since this is not a heavy lap see I am using this laptop only for the purpose of recording okay uh, that X Christian can be installed in Windows how that is the topic of another video and I will put the link here okay but for now let me just take this output file to that laptop and there i will show you how to open the output file using x Christian. okay well okay so now we are at my other laptop okay and where i have put this output file this is in desktop right okay now let's open x Christian. so i will just search okay let me maximize it now just go to file open pwshf go to pwshf out file okay just go two times back and mnt now desktop is in c drive definitely inside user so i will go to user okay and here desktop should be there so here is desktop go to vc relax open this okay so now it is open just close this dialog box do not reduce dimensionality display optimized coordinates continue so this is the visualization of the structure that you have optimized okay now go to file save x a shape structure that is x piston structure so let me save it in desktop once again so i will once again go to c drive and hence to desktop eventually Okay, so let me shape it as BT relaxed. Okay, so just save it. Okay, now let me minimize this. You see, BT relaxed XHF file is here. Just open it using Vesta. Okay, well, now you just have to go to File, Export Data, and save it as CIL. So that's the shortcut actually just minimize it you see the cif file for bit relapsed is here and i guess you two pretty want this right you want to open this using burai so let me do that okay now it is in burai so that's what you want it right okay so that is it for today and this video we'll meet again in the next video thank you thanks a lot